There's always a chance. Something can seem basically impossible to the ordinary person, but not to you, because you're the only one who knows what you're capable of. 28 to 6. It's true, it ain't over till it's over. Promise yourself this, that you won't give up no matter what the odds are. Pull that. Oh yeah! And what? What is going on guys, Caleb TV here, and I'm a Division Three soccer player at Anna Maria College. Today I'm collabing with the men's basketball team. Big shout out to Bobby for helping me with this video, and let's go check in with him now. What's up guys, it's about 10.30 a.m. right now, game day. We got uh, Bowden at 7.30 tonight. Uh, I got class at 11, so get to wake up a little later today at 10.30. Gonna take a shower, eat a little something, and then head out. Um, I'll keep you updated for the rest of the day. And this is my best friend, Eleanor. She keeps me mentally prepared for every game. Waking up next to her is always the best. Yeah, Real I quick. just woke up for my 9 a.m. for an 8 a.m. All right, so unfortunately, my car's brakes hit the floor, so I gotta take an Uber to school. Gotta feed the cat before I leave, of course. Hey, Eleanor, sit back. So that's a daily routine as always for my breakfast today. Pretty simple. Don't like to fill up before I go to class really too much. Go with a muscle milk. And then I also go with some peanut butter crackers as well. And now we're off our way onto the Uber. Career high? Career high, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm at 26. Can we get a nice layup today, like last game, bro? Yeah, 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 I got you. I, you I, got, I got that? You, you got that? Yeah, yeah, I got you. All right. You got it, you got it. What's up, guys? Game day vlog. Up, we got our handshake double down right day. now. Let's yes, go. double game day. Hey. See you guys at the game. Let's get it. Just want to give a quick shout out to YouTube. Thanks for sending me this. Christian's still snoozing. What's up guys, just uh, studying right before my second class for my uh, vocab test. Gotta be quiet because I'm in the, uh, near the info comments, but um, a big test coming up. Then uh, once I get out, Uber and back home and I'll keep you guys updated. Bro, do you know what happened this morning or were you awake? I was probably asleep. Dude, you're gonna have to wait to watch the vlog then. Time out really quick. If you didn't know, Bobby hit a thousand points a couple games ago and I asked him to share this story. That was the lowest point of my basketball career, being moved down to JV. That I am where I want to be now. I just scored my 1,000th point, and after that long journey, it's an unbelievable feeling. Anybody that's watching this, anybody that can feed off of this, always work hard. Never let anybody tell you that you're not good enough or you shouldn't be where you're at. Get it on. Live and direct. Bro. What's good, bro? <laughs> What's good? Hold up. Yeah, Listen, I haven't been done my taxes. I'm too turned up. Yeah, Drake, don't sue me like that. I might go copyright, bro. I might go copyright because you're saying, bro. It's all good. I'm the best singer out here. Papacito, add me. Yo, is Simon going for a career high? Yo, let me get in there. Yo, career high tonight. Calling it now. Career high. Career high. Add the snap at Caleb underscore woo one. Dude, don't say that. Dude. Is it on? Yeah. Favorite cereal, bro? Ooh. Cinnamon life. Cheerios. Fruity pebbles. Bro. Nah, bro. We're with Bobby right now. What's up, guys? Big shout out to him for helping me with the vid. Everyone go follow his Instagram. It's going to be on the screen. Absolutely. Big game. Huge game tonight. Bowden, NASCAC school. We need it. Do a uh, quick score prediction. I think an AMCAS win by 10. 
right, that's, that's solid. That's my score prediction because it's a big solid. team. They're they're big. They're long. They can shoot. So word. We're, I think we're gonna get the W. All right, though. respect. Good luck. All right, catch you later, bro. All right, guys, just got out of the Uber because the car is broken, as I said before. Finally got back to the apartment. Got about three hours so i have to be back in the gym to watch the women's game and get ready for my game so i'll keep you guys updated i'm gonna eat a little grub i'll vlog that going to work out right now game's in a couple hours check in with you guys soon what's up guys just got out of the shower second shower of the day love to shower before games because you know you got to look good feel good play good all of it wraps into one so gonna stretch gonna eat Chef myself something up. Just heated myself up something. Uh, just a little chicken, rice, corn. It's all a big mess, but it's all good protein before the game. Um, watching my favorite guy, Joey Diaz, right now before the game. Don't really like to watch or think about too much basketball before the game. Like to just like get my mind into other places, and then once it comes game time, that's when I focus because I don't like to overthink things. Sneak peeks only. All right, just finished my meal. Time to stretch. But before I do that, since I ate, the cat's gotta eat. She's been meowing at me way too long now. I'll reintroduce you guys to Eleanor. This is a full view. This is Eleanor. She's four years old. She's my kitty. She's got a mustache. Pretty cool, huh? So I'll come out here into our living room. I got a little, uh, Roll out here. I'm gonna roll out. I'm gonna stretch the hammies. I'm gonna stretch the quads a lot. Get ready. Get mentally ready for the game. And then I'm gonna head out to the gym. Dude, look what the gym did, bro. Dude, that's crazy. First time wearing this. Yo, I need a. I need another jersey. I need another one. YouTube, please send me one. Dude, it's not funny. Pulling up to the game. Score prediction, real quick. We're winning uh, 82 to 76. All right. Well, my Uber is here. Time to walk down to the Uber now. Sucks doing this, but you got to do what you got to do to be a college basketball player. Get from point A to point B. Without a car. Gotta say bye to the cat. See you later, Eleanor. All right, well, I'll see you guys at the game. Let's go. If the washer doesn't fix this, I'm, we're, we're cutting this footage because it's just... All right, about to be game day. What do you got to say to Caleb Lou? Oh, it's good, Caleb Lou, coming to you live and direct from the men's uh, Anna Maria basketball game. Let's go, let's go women, let's go women. They got one minute left, down by two, then it's game time for the AMCAT. See you guys after the game. <laughs> it's flexing. See what Don Corleone, trust me at the top it isn't lonely. Everybody acting like they know me, dawg. Don't just say it now, you gotta show me what you gotta do. It's confirmed that the number one rebounder in the nation has jelly. Shout out to Mike. Simon. Let me see the buddy. Yo, wait, oh, come bro. On. Bucket. Hold on. Yes, sir. By yourself, by yourself. Damn that, bro. And one. Pull back. Yeah. Work. And one. What is that? Oh. Ball's gonna lie. Twenty three. Oh, 
Oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yo, half time update. What's up, guys? Dude, what's the most wrong? Dan, the cameraman here. We got white boys cooking out here. Oh yeah! Can we get a nice layup today? Like last game, bro? Yeah, 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 I got you. <laughs> Fuck it. Good take. Yeah, Jakai. And one! Yo, pull that. Yeah, Bobby! Let's go, kid! Come back for the kids. It's Pat's comeback, baby. Yeah, Posey. Pull that. Oh, yeah. And one. Let's go, Jakai. Oh! Oh my god. Oh yeah! Let's go! Good work! No! no. It's, oh, it's one one, bro. Oh my god, the ball! The ball going live, bro! 27 seconds. Oh my god. Clamping assignment. Here with Caleb, Caleb Luke TV. Coach Braga, we're gonna do a video in the gym, strength and conditioning, soccer coming at you soon. Thoughts on the game, bro? Big win tonight. Huge win. Come back. Come back from uh, it was 28 to six in the beginning yeah, that's of the crazy. game. Crazy. Final thoughts on the yeah. vlog. Final we ended thoughts. the day with a win, so that's all you got. Big Huge dub. win. Got a fat lip. Might have concussion, but we got the W. Gets the next So let's go. I'm in. I've been wanting to get in this all day. What's up, guys? Uh, Caleb asked me to uh, make a little ending story of how I got to my 1,000 points and, like, what a journey it's been. Um, it's been a long, long, long road. Uh, didn't start playing basketball until I was in fifth grade. Fell in love with it. Made B team sixth grade, B team seventh grade, A team eighth grade. Didn't really play too much. Tried out for the freshman team, made it. Coach, halfway through the season, went up to my future varsity coach and asked if I could uh if he could cut me and um uh get rid of me because he did not want me on the team anymore didn't think I was good enough didn't think I was going to bring anything to the table in the future I was brought into my coach's office and told that so that kind of that kind of pushed me to be better worked really hard in the off season didn't even get a varsity tryout got a JV tryout made JV started JV had a good JV year at the end of the year comes time to, for uh, players to be called up to varsity for the tournament I don't hear my name, um, that hurt a lot, but that just pushed me even harder. I worked hard in my my sophomore summer going into my junior year. Going into the season, just probably not mentally prepared enough, uh, didn't play too well, didn't go the way I wanted it to go. Uh, came off the bench and then uh, got moved down to JV halfway through the season and then uh, eventually ended up getting called back up. But uh, that was the lowest point in my basketball career, being moved down to JV. That hurt a lot. But um, looking back on it, that pushed me for pushed me harder than I could have ever imagined and got me to where I need to be now. Um, senior year, worked really hard, worked my mental, tried to get everything right. And uh, everything kind of came um, together, had a good year. 
Um, got recruited a couple places, uh, decided Anna Maria because I just love the atmosphere, love the small school vibe and um, want to just make an impact immediately. I uh, never worked more hard in a summer leading into a season up until then. Um, got on the court, was feeling confident. First drill, first play of, the, of my first tryout of my freshman year, I slipped and I uh, tore my ACL. Um, that was devastating. I had worked so hard to get to the point where I needed to be. Felt so good physically, felt so good mentally, and then right when everything's about to come together, I tear my ACL on the very first play. And it could have gone one of two ways. I was thinking about either just leaving basketball behind, um, and that was kind of a short thought, and then I, then I just thought, why not just make this part of your story? Why not work hard? Why not promise that you're gonna get a thousand points and just every single day work towards that goal? Every single day that I was working, I was thinking about a thousand points. I was thinking about winning in the league. I was thinking about being back on the court, and um, it just pushed me harder and harder and harder. Had not too great of a season freshman year coming off the uh, ACL surgery, but uh, it was it was kind of expected. Sophomore year, I was a contributor, but um, not where I wanted to be. Last year, I kind of cracked um, what I wanted to do and averaged 15 and kind of got on the right track and just really, really needed to work hard this summer, really needed to put in a lot of work to get where I wanted to be. And uh, it seems like I did the work and um, I am where I want to be now. I just scored my 1,000th point and after that long journey, it's an unbelievable feeling. I can't believe that I'm here and as, as little as that sounds, being a D3 school, scoring a 1,000 for Anna Maria that probably not a lot of people know. If you put your head to the grindstone and you want something to happen and you work your ass off for it, it doesn't matter what it is, it still feels great. And I worked unbelievably hard to get where I am now. And uh, I'm five threes away from being the all-time leader in three-point shots made at the school as well, which I just work on my craft every single day. It's been a beautiful, long journey, and it's all about the journey. It's all about hard work. Hard work always, always, always pays off. Whether it doesn't go your way or not, that journey of hard work really, really put something in your mind for success in the future. So anybody that's watching this, anybody that can feed off of this, always work hard. Never let anybody tell you that you're not good enough or you shouldn't be where you're at. Tell tell them you're wrong by your game and tell them how you're wrong by how much time you put in the gym. Peace out, folks. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Killaboo TV. Like, comment, subscribe. More collabs to come. Just will it. Peace.